There have been many words to describe this year's race for the White House, which is set to end on November 8th. WEAU's Jesse Horn recently sat down with a select panel to try and get a sense of the tone in the voters' voice. The language of this presidential election year has not sounded nice when rolling off of the tongue. But where is this angst coming from? WEAU conducted an online survey to try and gauge the mood of the Chippewa Valley voters, and we had over 200 people respond. When asked, how satisfied have you been with the overall campaign for president? On a scale from 0 to 100, the average score was just 25, with the most votes going for 0. Now, from this survey, we selected five voters, conservative, liberal, and moderate to try and gauge what they thought about this race, dominated by Democrat Hillary Clinton and Republican Donald Trump. And they use words like crazy and hectic to disgusting and appalling. But we begin tonight with Trish Dubiak from Eau Claire and why she used the word pandemonium to describe this round of selecting a president. I have a lot of passion for a lot of the areas of discussion and for a lot of the issues at hand. Um, it's hard sometimes to just zone in on that because so much has been going on around it and a lot of you, a lot of it is media based um, and it's it's unfortunate because I think the facts just kind of get sucked up in this whirlwind of pandemonium and it, it just kind of overshadows what, uh, what really needs to be addressed. Have you made your mind up yet? How many have you made your mind up? All right. Christina, I'm going to start with you. You're the only one that did, that did not raise your hand. You are undecided right now. Yeah, I can't vote the Republican this year. I'm not registered any party. I've never registered any party. Voted many elections. But I'm looking for somebody else out there. Basically, I am going to vote for somebody that I think is going to do a good job of uh, uh, in the national aspect uh, as far as foreign policy and will help the uh, middle middle guy. I feel that we need a leader that's going to be strong and they're going to actually push to to break up ISIS rather than sitting back and watching other people break it up or funding other people to do it for us. Dan, you also have an idea on who you're going for? What about you? I want a leader who I can rely on to do the right thing at the right time, not fly off the handle, not get petty, and with things as bad as they are right now, I want somebody with some emotional stability. And I'm not particularly happy with either of the party's candidates right now. Now coming up tomorrow night at 10, we're going to focus on one issue which was answered by one of those major candidates two nights after our discussion here. And of course, you can go online and watch the first half of our voter forum at WEAU.com. For now, from Davie Center in UW-Eau Claire, Jesse Horn, WEAU 13 News. During the final presidential debate, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump was asked if he'd accept the results of this election, answering, quote, I will tell you at the time, I'll keep you in suspense. WEAU's Jesse Horn sat down with local voters from the Chippewa Valley two nights before that debate and asked them to answer that same question. It was the last question of the night asked in the alumni room here at Davies Center on the UW-Eau Claire campus. On that panel, we had two supporters of Donald Trump, two that were leaning for Hillary Clinton, and one, as of that night, undecided voter. And their answers to this question that night may shed some light into the mindset of the Chippewa Valley voter in this final push on the race to the White House. On November 9th, the day after the election, we have a new president. And it's not who you supported. Will you accept that result? We're going to start with you, Dan, and we're going to work around. Of course. I mean, it's a working democracy. All those poll workers out there, you know, sitting behind those tables and checking people's names off. And I'm shocked that in the year of our Lord, 2016, that we're even having a, a 
a question like that being mooted, would you accept the results? Is, is there a question that some people might not? Yes. There is a candidate out there saying that it's rigged. Trish, that's going to go this way. If the result comes and it's not Mr. Trump, will you accept it? Yeah, I'd be disappointed, but since I was a little girl, I was always raised to um, have respect for the president, and period. That's just the way it is. You know, it might not be your choice, but I was also told since the time I was a little girl, if you don't vote, you can't complain. So that's the way I've always gone about it, and I'll support whoever is elected. Robert? Um, yeah, I, obviously I'll support that choice, and that's... The beauty of our government is that no one really true, truly has the power over other people because we have the three branches. So I, I'd like to see cooperation on all fronts of, of our branches of the government, but I'll also support whoever it is, whether it's Hillary or Trump. And it, to me, as long as they honor their oath of office and they... Uh, they don't jeopardize the security of our nation, then then I'll respect that. Joe? Yeah. Guess what? It's the United States of America and that's the Constitution. And we end with you, Christina, because you are still kind of out there as far as where you're thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, either way I look, the person I'm probably going to vote for is not going to win. <laughs> So I'll respect it. I always respect the office of the commander in chief. I respect the position. Doesn't mean that I have to love the person that's in it. And four more years, you get to vote again. Now, even though we touched on a wide range of issues in our voter forum, we didn't get every question answered. We just simply wanted to get a taste on what voters were thinking as they prepare to head to the polls come November 8th. And you can watch our entire voter forum online tonight at weau.com. For now, at the UW-Eau Claire campus, Jesse Horn, WEAU 13 News.